Hello and welcome to Thornton, site to race number 31 of the season and race number 2 of round 2 in the Reebok Truck Series chase for the championship. And we've got a chaser starting up front, but not on pole. And Matt Dixon will start alongside Zachary Fitzwater on the front row. Alan Cavanaugh, Eric Powers, row two. Hiroshi Kazuyoshi, Dylan Young in row three with chasers Paul Swanson and Alex Perkle, row four. Jake Baskinger and the points leader Mason Powers will make up row number five here. So the rest of your starting grid. As for mentioned, Mason Powers comes in as the points leader by 10 points, though, only over Matt Dixon, who starts second. Max Newworth is just one single point behind them. Stella, five points behind Newworth in fourth. Alex Perkle rounds out the top five. Paul Swanson, Kato Nakagawa, and James Shelley make up the rest of the top eight, as this is the round of 12, and we'll take the top eight to the next round. The bottom four, Preston Plore, Charles Jackson, Sam Young, and Jessica Shelton who will have to look for a good day here to rebound after some, well, in some cases, some poor runs. Actually, Trucks handled Texas the best out of all three series. But now we come to Thornton, where anything and everything can and probably will happen here today. I forgot because this is taped. Now there wouldn't be the command. Okay. So, no drive. The important thing to note: no driver is locked into the round of eight coming into this. Mason Powers did not win last week, but he comes in as the points leader. <coughs> and as the field comes around that final corner at a very high rate of speed, they'll come around at even higher speed next time around. As, yeah, all 42 trucks did get going at least, so that's good. And the green flag is out. We're underway here from Thornton. And there's the train. Jeff James up and on the curbing already as they come down. Henry Powers as well. And Kyle Matthews is off in the five truck. As I go into helicopter cam. So Kyle Matthews is off and not going to survive. He's going to get through to the barrier. And so too is Johnny Gardner. He's out there. So two trucks in trouble already. And Eric Powers from the third starting spot to the lead. As they're four abreast back here. Mason Powers, Alex Perkle, a couple chasers in that mess there of trucks. Beating doors, they're side, side by side, wow, literally together there. Eric Powers is off and wide, and around goes Dixon. Not going to be able to get back there that way. Just going to be easier this way, and Dixon got hit. Neil Shelley's involved, Duncan around, and Tom Shelley. So a couple of chasers there involved. And now up to the first of two highway sections. Three wide, Nakagawa, Jackson, and Stephen Paul the third. They sort that out. And it's Hiroshi Kazuyoshi that is leading the field at Thornton right now. Eric Powers says, not so fast. I want that top spot now. And he will take that spot going into the second of the two highway sections, it looks like. Well, maybe not. Dylan Young now going to make the move. And they're going to be three wide coming through this corner, actually. Paul Swanson makes the move. This could be interesting coming down this. Oh, my. I don't believe I've ever seen him go this 
Oh, I mean, maybe a couple times, but very rare that I end up seeing a pack this big going down the second highway section. This could be troublesome. Mason Powers in the middle, three wide. So I'm trying to get a good camera angle here. Looks like everyone survived to this point at least, so that's good. There's still three wide, three rows deep though, coming up to the second of the sweeping right-handers. Oh, oh! And up and over is Stephen Pollard the third! Big trouble! As the 54 is around, and a lot of smoke... How, Binky got through there. What? Okay. John Irvin's got damage. Uh, not going to be able to really recap who's got damage or anything like that. As Paul Swanson goes up in the air there in the 03 truck. Amanda Shelley into the wall, the 77. As Jake Bassinger also gets that wall, and we're going to come up to the turn of deaths for the first time today. So who's going to fall victim to the turn? Doesn't look like anyone up front might. Let's see, Baskinger got close, Kazuyoshi came close as well. Henry Powers is off, the 33 truck. A lot of damage, oh, Tom Shelley is gonna get his way out of there. There was heavy damage to the zero. There you see Dixon on pit lane. Mason, Neal, and Shelley back here. And Gardner and Matthews still in the wall. <coughs> and now they go a lap down. So Eric Powers leads over Zachary Fitzwater, Dylan Young. The top three. Paul Swanson, top chaser right now. And Jake Bassinger rounds out the top five. If you're one of the chasers, all you were hoping for today was just a solid run. Unfortunately, James Shelley, Matt Dixon, not going to get that. Dixon going to have the comfort that he was second in points. So for him, if some other chasers, especially those behind him, run into some issues, he might be able to salvage something and not go into the next race with uh, um, any issues, really. So we'll see. Look at the back, see if anyone else is in trouble now. Binky Louvier has hit the wall. He hit it a ton. Not sure what wall that the 69 truck got around this track, but hey. It's Binky, I mean, you're not going to be able to really figure out what's going on with that truck. Either way, Eric Power still leads down this first highway section of lap 2. Fitzwater all over the back of that South Point Hotel and Casino Chevy. Makes the move now to the driver's right. Dylan Young followed. And they're going to be two by two going down this straightaway now as Paul Swanson goes behind the 48 and Dylan Young follows the 62. No camera angles perfect on this track. Through the sweeping right-hander for the second time now. And Swanson still trying to get second as you see the traffic on the other side of the freeway. Not looking too nice as someone head on with someone else back there. Swanson not going to get the run down this straightaway with the draft as the top three were nose to tail now. Fitzwater 
Powers and Dylan Young. And now Fitzwater going to play defensive here. He's going to go to the inside of... Or he's going to go to driver's right and block that inside line from Eric Powers for this next corner. Swanson's still out there on driver's left as well. Here comes Dylan Young. Gardner has finally teleported back to pit lane, so I'm guessing that would mean Kyle Matthews is back on pit lane as well. He was out there. As problems for Mason Powers, he's in the wall, as well as Paul Swanson. Not a whole lot of damage to the three truck, though, so that's good. And they're going to be almost four wide for the top spot here down this second... Uh, or I guess third interstate that we've got, or whatever you want to call them down here. Dylan Young going to be on that outside line. He's going to get the wall, I think. Yes, he does. Alex Perkle sent wide in the 83 truck. As the field comes up to the turn of death for the second time today. Fitzwater going to be safe this time, it looks like. No one near him. Greg Jones was, I think, the uh, closest one there of the leaders. Jay Stella just kind of lounging around right now. Binky's all by herself, so not going to follow turn of death, I would imagine. Kyle Matthews actually got out of there. Wow, an amazing job by Kyle Matthews. Normally, you don't see people get out of that section of uh, the wall, if I'm being honest. In a way, final lap here from Thornton and Zachary Fitzwater leading over Dylan Young, Jake Bassinger, Zach Kreller, and Kyle Collins, top chaser is currently the 7 of Katone Nakagawa with Sam Young, another chaser right behind, and Mason Powers. So 14th, 15th, and 16th for the chasers right now. Swanson 18th. Max Newarth is 19th, or was scored 19th, is currently in 20th. Alex Perkle 22nd, last scored for him. Jessica Shelton last scored 24th. Jay Stella last scored in 26th. Charles Jackson last scored 29th. Preston Plord 31st. Matt Dixon still on pit lane with his damage. Shelley currently 34th for the last scored for them. So it could be a bad day for James Shelley who came in as the 8th place spot. Going to almost have to hope for some chaos here on this final lap. Zachary Fitzwater, I believe, looking for his first truck win of the year, if not his first truck win of his career here. Dylan Young going to make the move, though, down this uh, highway section. Going to have help from Jake Baskinger, Zach Kreller, and Tim Grunwich, though, go to the outside to driver's left. And Fitzwater is going to clear and take the defensive line once again. And let's see how they do this time around. Does someone... Well, it looks like Dylan Young's peaking. A lot of drivers out wide there. And it's going to be that driver's left side that gets the run down the highway. So now the top three is going to be Fitzwater, Kreller, and Greenwich. And Kreller is going to make the move in the Home Depot Toyota. Baskinger makes a move. Fitzwater is going to try and block again. And he's going to be able to. Greenwich now out there all by himself. And Dylan Young's going to make the move. 
Kreller with the move to the inside for the top spot on the final lap. Into this sweeping right-hander for the final time. One final time around the turn of death. One final couple corner or final couple corners here. One last highway section, the last big speed area of this track before the run to the line. Kreller's gonna have a gap here. He's gonna be able to take this last corner however he wants. Greenwich to second. Kreller's in the wall, he spins! Greenwich is in it! The scenes, oh my gosh, everyone's around! Big wreck! Dylan Thoreau gets through, Eric Powers is through! The scenes at Thornton! Powers around to the lead! Through the final corner! It's going to be Eric Powers winning at Thornton, Dylan Thoreau! One car's off the turn of death on the final corner! Oh, I didn't, couldn't tell who it was, it was a white truck! Powers wins though at Thornton with Dylan Thoreau second, a rookie 1-2! Kyle Collins is going to come up third. Jonathan Zorlin fourth. And Mason Powers somehow rebounds to fifth. Perkle six. Newworth, Baskinger, James, and Greg Jones. The top ten. Oh, wow. Now to try and figure out who it was that might have fallen off the turn of death. It was Zachary Fitzwater. Oh, the pole sitter falls off the turn of death on the final corner. Jay Stella is going to come across the line in 27th. Let's actually take a look for where the uh, chasers finished as they come across the line. So Powers, 5th. Dixon, terrible day. He's going to finish 37th. What about Newworth? He's going to finish 7th. Yep. We just said Jay Stella was 27th. Perkle 6th. Katonekagawa's 15th. After the craziness on the final lap. Jay S or James Shelley... Still trying to finish, so we can't say his spot. Uh, what about the 88 Preston Plored? Preston 26, Jackson 24th, Sam Young 17th, and Shelton's right there in 20th. So now we just have to kind of wait for where Sh James Shelley going to cross the line and finish. An unbelievable finish, though, to Thornton. I honestly have not had it come down to a last lap crash like that to decide the winner. I think that is Eric Power. I'd have to look, but I believe that is Eric Power's second win of the season in that 62 truck. Thoreau again comes up second. And I have to remember not to hit the escape button like I normally do to show the results. Shelly through the final couple corners here. Should be able to navigate the turn of death just fine. But with that last lap chaos, I don't know who's out here. Looks like maybe a 30th place finish for James Shelly. Not great, but still better than 34th. He'll be able to gain a couple spots with the last lap chaos because he's able to finish on the lead lap. There you see the quarry that Zachary Fitzwater has fallen into on the final lap. And Shelley across the line will finish 30th. And the last truck to finish will be Mason Neal.
So with that, as you see, he hits the train. Good job. Final lap. We had to get the train in there somehow. Either way, I would like to thank you for watching. We'll take a look at some of the replays here for what happened. And then the results will pop up on the screen in photo form this time. And then the points will show up after that. So, like I said, thank you for watching. And we'll be right back to show you the replays of what happened for some of the incidents that occurred today. So here's how Johnny Gardner's day went, because his day was over early. You see, he goes wide, and he had the most interesting moment I think I've ever seen in terms of trucks or cars getting stuck on this barrier. Kyle Matthews also gets stuck here. And Johnny Gardner goes for the takeout here, passes him. And then we're going to fast forward here because this is going to take forever if I don't. The problem for Gardner is this takedown that he had on Kyle Matthews did not pan out as well as I think he would have hoped. Because you'll see the field pass here. And then there's this little opening in the guardrail that he's coming up on. You'll see it pop up here just out of the right of the screen in a moment. There you see it. And Gardner... Well, unfortunately, it's a very tight turn. And... Doesn't turn enough. And Kyle Matthews then, as a result, just squeaks through. So, yeah, so that's what happened to Gardner, and that would be day over for the 22. Next incident on track was that of Matt Dixon's here. Trying to see, looks like he gets turned by the two of Alan Cavagnaro there. And everyone doing a great job to miss him until William Duncan comes along and hits him. There's Mason Neal getting his damage and James Shelley who then also collects Tom Shelley as an innocent bystander and all that. Tom Shelley coming off the better end of all that. And then the next instance is going to be, or at least the next, the first driver out after the 22 was the zero. So let's take a look at what happened to him. Next incident of the day actually is going to be where the zero gets his damage, and it's going to be the highway wreck that happened up here. I believe it starts with Kavanaugh. Yeah, he gets up on the curbing. Gets into the 12, right into the 7. Oh, my. I have i don't think I've ever seen this. Wow. So that's what how the 72 got up and over. And I'm in the helicopter cam because that's the best one. Zero runs into the 13. Great job by the 9 to get through this. Now, 69 comes roaring through somehow. And I don't think got hit. No, wow. But I'm going to take another look at this. 72. Up and over. Whoops. <laughs> Clicked out of screen. Is there a better... Do we have another camera angle on this, guys? Come on. Let's see. I'm just astonished by this. 72. Gets up on the embankment. And that is like, just I'm I, I'm at a loss for words because I did not expect that to be a thing that could happen here. Just up and on the embankment and over she goes. And then the chaos behind him. That is a very eerie sound when that when you hear a truck just on its lid. Our first turn of death incident of the day would be that of Henry Powers. And you'll see it here coming off. Let's see how this impact goes, because that's going to be a brutal one. Oh, and he actually hit the roof on the way down. Oh, wow. That would be day over, though, for the Ream Chevy and an unfortunate end to their day. Well, here's what happened with Binky Louvier to get the damage on... Well, 
I thought it was to get the damage on the right side, but either way, on lap number two, that would relegate Binky down the field at least a little bit. And out of remembrance, this also happened on lap two between the eventual winner of the race and Alex Perkel. Very light incident there, but uh, it still, still happened, and both drivers lucky to continue, and Powers coming out big on the end of that one. And finally, the... I don't even know what to call this. This was just an unfortunate mistake by a rookie who has won this season. So it's not like it was the pressure of trying to win the first race of his career. Zach Kreller gets the wall, spins it. Nowhere for Tim Greenwich to go. He gets involved. Chris Louvier, trying to avoid it, doesn't quite miss the wreck. Dylan Young gets involved. Jake Baskinger gets involved. Dylan Thoreau then hits Baskinger. And it's Eric Powers who's the first truck to actually get through this. Um, I'm trying to remember. Someone else, I think, gets spun somewhere in all this. I don't remember. Yeah, it was. Amanda Shelley goes around. Max Newart then hits the 51. And just the scenes here at Thornton. Unbelievable. And just a remarkable job today. And then, oh, yeah, obviously we have to show this. It, it is a must. We must show Fitzwater falling off the turn of death. Bye! And to the bomb he goes. Actually, in all honesty, a very calm way to fall down the turn of death, if I must say so myself. Either way, congrats to Eric Powers, and again, thank you for watching. Dylan Thoreau gets second. Rookies 1-2 at Thornton, of all places. And I'll see you next time. I don't know where we're going next, but it is an elimination race. The results and the points up right now.